hey guys this is joy i am back again with another video welcome welcome to the channel all right um so today is sunday april the 12th happy easter to those of you guys that do celebrate it um what a great day it is today um so we're gonna go ahead and do the weekend collective reading for all signs all right so let's get a message here i kind of want to do it differently i want to do i want to use the psychic tarot for all 12 signs and then we're going to do the romance angels and then we're going to get a tarot message and then we're going to use some clarifiers so let's do it a little differently um and for those of you that would like to get a personal or a private reading that information is in a description box um, for today and tomorrow, I am giving a $5 off discount. So for those that are interested, definitely go ahead and um, send me an email at livenarkfree9 at gmail.com. And then um, I'm also doing a one to three question giveaway at the end of the month. So make sure if you're interested, go ahead and leave a comment at the um, on this video and I can go ahead and enter you in. So far, I think I have one or two people already enter, entered into win. So make sure if you guys are interested, don't miss out. And even if you guys do enter, I will still... Um, whoever enters i will give you guys a special giveaway so make sure you do get involved um so yeah let's go ahead and get into the weekend message for the collective for april the 12th through we're gonna do until let's do it till the 14th let's extend it just a little bit because i know um Yesterday I was a little bit busy so I wasn't able to get on here, but I'm here with you guys. Make sure if you guys haven't already, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you guys can get notifications. Alright. So and hopefully you guys are staying healthy and safe out here. So a lot of you guys are definitely going to be coming to coming into victory and success. All right, so let's see what messages and what guidance can we get for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the message that we can get for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's the message here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Love, we can read. And general read as well. For Aries, okay, so we have financial and material changes. So Aries, I feel like you're definitely going through um, some changes when it comes to your finances or it can be involved in your career. I know with everything going on, um, you know, a lot of people are, you know, transitioning from maybe jobs or they may be getting a new job or maybe people are working from home. So this could definitely indicate um, there's definitely some material changes going on for a lot of you Aries. Um, some of this might bring up some sort of conflicts um, with the five representing change conflicts um and different things of that sort so yeah that's what i'm getting here for you aries maybe you guys are looking for a new job all right let's see what's going on for the taurus or this could be a person that could have been a person that you were dealing with okay so for taurus we got three cards okay so for taurus we have awareness we have base chakra and we also have destiny so for Taurus, I do want to um, go ahead and read the base chakra because this um, deck is a little newer for me. So just bear with me, Taurus. Let's take a look. Did I pass it already? Let me see something. 444 four, four in the clock, you guys. So I feel like some of you guys are manifesting um, your goals and your dreams around this time. Or the spirit and the angels have heard your prayers. So that's beautiful. Okay. Okay. Base chakra. So it says red, lamb, earth. Keywords I have here. Bear with me. It says known as the base or root chakra. This energy center is situated at the base of the spine and is mostly closely related to all of your earthly issues such as survival the physical body issues of money substance safety and shelter to balance the chakra pra 
Practicing yoga can be extremely beneficial. Dancing or light physical exercise will also help keep the energy flowing and harmonious. Honoring your body and taking care of it on the outside will bring you well-being on the inside. It works both ways. So I feel like a lot of you Taurus, um, you guys pr probably are going to be focusing on your base chakra around this time. Maybe you guys are going to be practicing yoga, uh, maybe exercising more, drinking more water. Uh, maybe you guys are also probably focused on your money around this time, which makes sense. A lot of earth signs are very driven by their money, um, you know, in your safety, in your shelter. Or this could be someone that you're dealing with that is doing this. And I'm getting that there's some sort of awareness that could be going on around you. Maybe you are being more clear or somebody is going to be clear about a situation in regards to you or somebody knows something or someone's going to be using their intuition in regards to a situation. And I'm getting that something is destiny. Something is going to be coming in um, to fruition for you. There's going to be some sort of good fortune here. Something is um, going to bring you success because you're aware of something now. But I'm getting a lot of you guys are definitely going to be um, really practicing self-care, self-awareness, um, maybe even just relaxing, just taking care of your 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 body, your mind, your soul and your spirit. Or that's the advice for Taurus. All right, let's see what's going on for Gemini's. So we got prosperity begins for Gemini's. So um, Gemini's, a lot of you guys could be coming into some money around this time, whether it's from an inheritance, um, you know, whether it's a new job, a new opportunity. Um, I'm getting a lot of you guys are definitely going to be um, embracing the, the beginning of um, health and wealth and um, a lot of money is should, should be coming in for a lot of you Gemini's around this time. Or it's a lot of you Gemini's could be invested in a situation or an opportunity and it's going to be bringing you prosperity and wealth. Or this could be someone that's around you. Or it could be prosperity and love, prosperity um, and abundance. Just like you're just going to be fruitful. You're going to be very abundant. Maybe you're going to be giving more or someone's going to be giving to you for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's see, what messages do we have for cancer? I know I'm doing a little different. Let me know if you guys like it this way. I'm doing a little different this time. All right, so. So cancer, I did see this, so I kind of wanted to take it since I've seen it. So we got moving on and we have truth. So I feel like for you cancers, you could be moving on from a situation or someone is going to be moving on from you. And it's because there's a truth that's going to be spoken here. Either you're speaking, a, you're speaking a truth or a person is speaking a truth. And they're going to be moving on from you or moving on to you or moving on from a situation. And again, all of these are very general. So like I said, if any of you guys would like a personal or private reading, I would love to go deeper into your situation. But um, yeah, I'm seeing that someone's going to be moving on or the advice is to move on because there's going to be a truth that's spoken or somebody could be holding back a truth and this could be stopping you from moving on. So um, just be aware of that. That's for a cancer, sun, moon, rising and Venus. I saw it, it was like popped up in the deck. So I was like, I have to take it if I seen it. So let's see what's going on for um, after cancer is Leo. What's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What's going on for Leo? Whoa, that's a lot. So for Leo, I feel like um, they're, the cards that we got here is patience. We got mental conflict. And we also have intuition. I'm feeling like a lot of you guys are having some sort of mental conflict about maybe your intuition or about being patient in regards to a situation. You're needing to use your intuition in order to get over this mental conflict that you're, you are experiencing. Or this could be a person that you're dealing with. 
that is going through some sort of mental conflict. Somebody knows something, but they need to just maybe meditate or have some sort of solitude or just be patient and maybe the conflict will end in due time, I feel like. But there's something that's going on and someone is just like in their head about it, very confused, not really knowing what to do, um, needing to trust their intuition, needing to listen to what their gut is telling them. If they just give it time and um, patience, that's what I'm seeing here for you, Leos. This is for April the 12th through the 14th. So let's see, what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Virgos? Okay, so some of you Virgos could be dealing with the Taurus because this is literally the same message that I got for um, Taurus. We got destiny and base chakra. So um, Virgo, you could be dealing with a situation where you feel like it's your destiny. And again, you're going to be needing to um, really, you could be focusing on your money around this time. You're focusing on your survival. You're focusing on, um, you know, the mundane things in your life. I feel like, I feel like a lot of you guys are needing to exercise around this time. Again, maybe find something that will relax you for sure. Let me get one more just to clarify. What, what else does Virgo need to know for this weekend? April the 12th through the 14th. What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, uh, love begins. I feel like there's a love that's going to begin here. It could have been a delay, but I feel like it's destined for a love to begin between you and someone else. But you're needing to work on your base chakra first. Is what I'm seeing for Virgos. Or uh, this could be a love for yourself as well. All right, let's see. Virgo, Libra. What's going on for Libra? So we got memories of love. So Libra, you could be reminiscent about a situation or this is someone that you're dealing with could be reminiscent about you. You could be reminiscing your past. You could be reminiscing presently. Or you will be reminiscing of a love. Maybe you're single and, you know, you missed your ex. You missed your husband or wife. You could be reminiscing about that. Or you just could be thinking about who you want to be with. Or if you're in a relationship, maybe you're missing your partner. Maybe you and your partner are at a distance. Maybe you and your partner are separated for some reason. Maybe you guys had conflicts of some sort. But the, yeah, there's some some this could be you, Libra, or someone that you're dealing with could be having memories of you. They could be feeling regretful about a situation. But there's going to be some sort of balance because we got the six here. So someone's definitely wanting to balance out a situation with you or you're wanting to balance out. And it makes sense because um, Libra is all about balance. So this makes sense for Libras. OK, so let's see what's going on for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So Scorpio, we have rest and rejuvenation and we have firm foundation. So Scorpios, you guys could be really, you know, in solitude right now, which, like I said before, a lot of us are in solitude. But some of you guys are definitely needing to rest and rejuvenate, gain your thoughts, gain your clarity. I feel like maybe you retreated from a situation or someone has retreated from you. And it's because somebody is needing to work on their foundation, maybe work on themselves, um, focus on, you know, who they are as a person or who you are as a person. Someone's just needing to kind of go within, I'm seeing, and just take a break and just chill out and relax around this time. Maybe some, some of you guys could gain some sort of clarity from a particular situation here. So, yeah, somebody could be dealing with an emotional loss. This could be you, Scorpio, or someone else. All right, so let's see. What's going on for Sagittarius? Someone rising in Venus. What's going on for Sagittarius? Summer rising in Venus. Okay. So some prosperity, it could be beginning for a lot of you Sagittarius, or this is what you're wanting to go towards. 
Maybe you're wanting a new career that will make you happy, that could bring you prosperity. Let's see here. So Sagittarius, we do have the universe. Let's get one more. I actually haven't gotten this card yet, so we're going to go in and read that one. Um, trapped in fear. So this could be you or someone that you're dealing with could be trapped in fear around this time. Okay. So someone could be, you know, fearful about a situation or this could be you're, fear you're fearing something. Somebody's fearing something with in a situation in regards to you. All right. So let's read the universe. We got... You've come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded for your efforts. This card symbolizes completion, trump, peace, and liberation and fulfillment. Everything you strive for is within your reach. Meet it halfway and grab it. The universe is the last of the major arcana cards and reflects the work that you've accomplished on your travels. Just bear with me. But more importantly, it represents the wisdom that you've gained along the way. You should now honor and acknowledge the truth. You're, I'm sorry. You should now honor and acknowledge the truly wonderful soul that you are and accept that the vital part that you play in the bigger scheme of life. The world is yours to command and you're free to travel in whatever direction your heart desires. You're connected to everything in the cosmos. The universe card is a reminder that the same energy making up the stars in the sky, the same energy that coursed in through the universe is in each and every individual. In the ancient times, many believed that each star was the soul of one person. They also believed that these souls shine so brightly to guide others through the darkness and so too can your wise soul. So this, for me, this universe could mean could also represents the world card. So there has been a completion maybe in your life or um, a cycle that maybe came to an end between you and another person, or this could just be your own life cycle. Like you are going to be getting whatever it is that you deserve. You're going to be getting some sort of success or this is a person that you're dealing with, but I'm really feeling like this is more for you, Sagittarius. Um, you're going to be gaining some success. You probably learned a lot of lessons, gained some wisdom, some knowledge. And now I'm seeing that you're going to be um, getting the benefits of those lessons. Maybe you've learned how to value yourself and honor yourself and respect yourself. It's like shoot for the stars. You can have anything, be or do have whatever it is that you want. Just go for it is what I'm feeling. And with the fertility card here, I feel like something is growing. I feel like maybe you could be starting a new beginning, whether it's within yourself, like learning your self-love, your self-worth, your self-esteem, or it could be a new beginning with another person. You could be really fertile at this time. Something is going to be growing for you. You could be gaining success. But I do see that someone is trapped in fear, though. In regards to a situation with you for you, Saggies. So hopefully that resonates. So let's see. What's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, April the 12th through the 14th. So we got a firm foundation for um, Capricorns here. Let's get one more. One more for the Capricorns. One more for the Capricorns. So Capricorn, you could be in a marriage or a relationship. Maybe you're wanting to solidify a connection. You could be dealing with a, um, a Scorpio as well. Yeah, somebody could be going through an emotional loss. This could be the collective. Maybe the collective is going through a loss. Somebody's feeling some sort of pain or a conflict or a regret, maybe. But um, there's a firm foundation that maybe you retreated from, Capricorns. Or you're wanting to take a break to focus on your foundation, to focus on yourself. You know, to gain clarity about just like where you, where, what are you doing with your life? Again, uh, rest and rejuvenation, it came up uh, as well. So a lot of people are really rest and rejuvenating, which makes sense because of everything that's going on. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling, Capricorn. But again, if you're in a marriage or a relationship, maybe you guys are working on solidifying your, your marriage or your relationship. Or even if you're by yourself, maybe you're just focusing on 
what can make what could bring you stability what can make you stable in the long term maybe you're wanting to invest in you know certain business or a certain lifestyle or something like that a certain avenue but you're needing to take time to recuperate from something i'm seeing so hopefully that resonates for you capricorns or again this could be someone that you're dealing with a lot of these aren't even for you guys it could be for a person that you're connected to could be dealing with this so um aquarius we got disruption so aquarius um you could definitely be going through a tower moment around this time disruption or a life-changing event a life-changing situation maybe you're going to reveal you could be revealing something to someone or someone could be revealing something to you and this is going to cause disruption it could cause it like a shake in a shock or um it could cause you to hopefully not self-destruct but um there's a disruption here you might not like it there's a change nobody likes change but change is necessary change is needed and um you could be opening up your um throat chakra or this could be somebody else going to be opening up to you and telling you something there's a sacrifice here that's going to be happening or you're going to be sacrificing or a person is going to be sacrificing something. Maybe it's you that's doing this or someone else. But there's a shocking revelation here that I'm seeing that somebody is going through. Hold on just a second, you guys. 